So I wanted to put this uh, little video together to show you how to pin ants. And the reason I want to do this is because it's really hard to show people while I'm looking through the microscope. So ultimately what you want to do is you want to put the uh, put the ant on this little point, this little triangular piece of paper. So here's the pin in the background. Here's the point of the paper sticking right out at you there. And uh, so ultimately we need to be able to see the head, the mesosoma, and the gaster of the ant. That's the diagnostic areas we need to see. The legs not so not so important. Um, and even in this case, you'll see that I didn't quite get one leg completely out of the way. But by tipping this this ant, uh, tipping the pin over, we'll be able to uh, to see that characteristic. So this is this is a pretty good job here. The main thing is the point needs to be under the ant, under the midsection of the ant, and the ant needs to be securely glued to it. So this is a Campanotus. This is a, a carpenter ant, and one way that you can actually manipulate the legs is to use these little uh, microprobes. These are actually little insect pins that are that are hot glued to uh, to actually the inside of a hollow Q-tip, and you can see that you can move the legs around, and it's a bit of a struggle, but you just have to be persistent. Another thing you can do is you can use a, a soft paintbrush like this one, and you can hold the ant down, uh, and that helps a little bit to move the legs into place. You can also use fine forceps while holding the ant down to move the legs, but be aware that with certain ants, uh, especially softer ants, you'll pull the legs right off. So this is okay for really big, tough ants, uh, like this carpenter ant, but it wouldn't be so good for uh, for uh, small ants like cheese ants. So ultimately, this is this ant's in really good position here. We can clearly see all the the head, the mesosoma, and the the gaster here. And so our point would actually go right in this area right here. So you can see I've got the front legs forward and the back two pairs of legs backwards. And so we're going to insert the point right in there. Once you get the ant with its legs in the proper position, a little trick to make sure it's oriented properly is to place the ant head up with the legs pointing to the right. Now, uh, we're actually working on a microscope slide here, so you can actually turn the ant or turn the slide if you want to. So you're going to need some glue. In our lab, we use, uh, we use a type of glue called hide glue. And you can see I'm using a lid of a Petri dish here, and I've divided it into quadrants and, and numbered them so I know which one is the newest. Uh, and the glue will dry out as you work, so you just add another little blob of glue. But this lets you use this Petri dish lid nine times. You can also see I've prepared some uh, points over here uh, so they're ready, they're ready to go. So just get a little bit of glue. It's, a, it's called high glue. It's water soluble. You need a little blob of glue there. You're going to grab up a point. And you're going to dip it in the glue. Um, now, if you'll notice here when I do this, I'm going to put the head of the pin to the left. I'm going to hold that to my left hand. And I'm going to dip it in the glue, but I'm going to pull it forward so that the most of the glue is on the top of the point, not the bottom. So if you get too much glue on the on the point, you can actually just touch it to the microscope slide. We have thousands of slides, so don't worry about that. And that will control the amount of glue. So here we're going to this uh, back to our carpenter ant here. You can see we're just going to glue right up under that area. Now, big ants will have a tendency to kind of sag off the point. So you need to you need to watch that. If the ant starts to move when you lift it up, then uh, basically uh, you need to let the glue sit in place for a few minutes before you actually uh, pick the ant up. So now we're just going to check the position. So you're going to turn the ant over and you're going to check the side and the front. We'll show more of that here in a second. So this is another ant. This is a smaller anachromatic aster. What I want to show you here, and I'll pause this when it gets to the right place, is that we've, uh, it's a different tool here. So this is actually a regular microprobe, and here you can actually see a little probe that's actually two insect pins uh, hot glued together so that you can get on either side of the end. It really helps hold. So this is available to you in the lab too. So get your little, uh, in this case, the chromatic aster, acrobat ant here, very small one. And we're going to straighten those legs out. And again, we're now going to position that the ant with the head up with legs to the right. Now in this case, you'll see that, that we really haven't, the legs, the ant's so small, it's really, it's really hard to, it's going to, to, to get those legs we want them. But you'll notice with the legs in this position, I'm able to actually push the point right down in this area right in here so they can, uh, it'll go in the right place. So let's go ahead and show you the point being glued in now. So here's my, and by the way, if you'll notice, it's a, kind of a large blob of glue there because um, as long as you're underneath the ant, you can use a little bit extra glue and it won't obscure any of the parts that we want to see. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to Check the position on the side and make sure it's flat this way, and that's ants good. 
So perfection. Uh, it's, don't don't expect perfection. Just but the main thing is remember we want the head, the mesosoma, and the gastra to be visible. Now you even notice here in this particular case, I put the point between the second and third pair of legs instead of in the first. But it doesn't even make any difference because this ant is is firmly glued in place, and that's what we really want.